Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my reading journey. I hope we're all doing fine. And today we're gonna continue with the final part of Marcus Aurelius' meditations. All right, let's continue. <laughs> when my father returned home from the one yards, I mounted my horse as usual and rode on a handsome little way. Well, there on the road was a herd of sheep standing all crowded together as, as though the place were a desert, with four dogs and two shepherds, but nothing else. Then, <coughs> sorry, then one shepherd said to another shepherd, on seeing a number of horsemen, I say, says he, look you at those horsemen, they do a deal of robbery. When I heard this, I clapped spurs to my horse and ride straight for the ship. In cons consternation, at the ship scattered, hid her, and the the her, the her, the her. They are fleeting and bleeding. A shepherd throws his fork and the fork falls on the horseman who came next to me. We make our escape. We, like Marcus, known the worst of this spice of mi mischief. Another letter describes a visit to a country town and shows the antiquarian spirit of the writer am sadder to his master and pronto greeting. After I entered the carriage, after I took leave of, of you, we made a journey comfortable enough, but we had a few drops of rain to wet, wet us. But before coming to the country house, we broke our journey to a nag at, a, at the Nagne, a mile or so from the high road. Then we inspired that ancient town, and miniature, a miniature it is, but has in it many antique, antiquities, antiquities, temples, and religious ceremonies quite out of the way. There is not a corner without its shrine or fane or temple. Besides many books written on linen, which belongs to the to things scared, sacred, sorry. Then on the gate, as we came out, was written twice as follows, priest on the fell. Priest Don the Fell. I asked one of the inhabitants what that word was. He said it was the word of the Her Hernish Hernigan 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 dialect for the victim's skin which the priest puts over his conical cap. conical cap when he enters the city i found out many other things which i desire to know but the only thing i do not desire is to is that you should be absent from me that is my chief anxiety anxiety now for yourself when you left the play that place did you go to aurelia or to campania be sure to write to me and say whether you have opened the, the vintage or carried a host of books to the country house. This also whether you miss me. I'm foolish to ask it. When as you tell it me of yourself. <clears throat> now if you miss me and if you love me, send me your letters often, which is a comfort and consolation to me. Indeed, I should prefer ten times to read your letters than all the wines or 
Gauros or the Marsons. Marsons. For these, Sinan, Sinan wines have grapes to rank and fruit to sharp on the taste, but I prefer wine to must for drink, to must for drinking. Besides, those grapes are nicer to eat dried than fresh ripe. I would, I would rather tread them under food that, than put my teeth in them. But I pray, but I pray they may be gracious and forgiving, and grant me a free pardon for these jets of mine. Jests of mine. Farewell, best friends, friend, dearest, most learned, sweetest master. When you see the most ferment in the wad, remember that, just so in my heart, the longing for you is gushing and flowing and bubbling. Goodbye. Making all allowance, allowances for conventional exag exaggerations. It is clear from the correspondence that correspondence that were there were sorry. It is clear from the cor correspond correspond correspondence that there was deep love love between Marcus and his preceptor. The letters cover several years in succession, but soon after the, the birth of Marcus' daughter, Faustina, there is a large gap. It does not follow that the letters ceased, ceased entirely, because we know, the, we know part of the collection is lost, but there was probably less intercourse intercourse between Marcus and Front after Marcus took to the study of philosophy under the guidance of Rusticus. When Marcus succeeded to the throne in 161st, the letters be begin again with, with slightly increased formality on Ferranto's part, and they go on the, on on for some way and they go on for some few years four years when Fronto when who has been continually complaining of ill health appears to have died. One letter of the later period gives some interesting particulars of the Imperial's public life which are worth quoting. Fronto speaks of Marcus victories and acclaims in the usual strain of high price, 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 and then continues. The army, when you took it in hand, was sunk in luxury and revelry, revelry, and corrupted with long inactivity. And at Antiochia, the soldiers have been warned to applaud at stage place, knew more of the gardens at the nearest restaurant than of the battlefield. Horses were hairy from lack of grooming, horsemen smooth, because their ha hairs had been pulled out by the roots. A rare thing it was to see a soldier with hair on arm or leg. Moreover, they were better dressed than armed. So much so, the li uh, Lyle Linus Pontius, a strict man of all discipline, broke the graces of some of them with a high with his fingertips and observed cushions on the horses' backs. At his direction, the tufts, tufts were cut through 
and out of the horseman's saddles came with them appeared to be feathers plucked from gree from geese. Few of the men could walk walk on horseback. The rest clambered up with difficulty by aid of heel and knee and leg. Not many, not many could thr throw a lance. Hurdling, most did it without force or power, as though they were things full that they dicing was coming in the camp. Sleep lasted all night. Or if they kept watch, it it, it was over the wine cup. <laughs> but what regulation re, regulations to restrain such soldiers as th these, and to turn them to honesty, and industry? Did you not learn from Hannibal's sternness, sternness, the discipline of? Africanus, the acts of Metellus recorded in history. All right. So, thank you guys for joining me today and see you tomorrow on the next part. Thank you. See you. Bye.